At our photo studio, we're often asked for full-length portraits on a completely white background, and we photograph large products on a white background, so we have a semi-permanent setup that I wanted to show you today. This week we're shooting a magazine story photographing a number of people from head to toe on a clean white background. Now we sometimes set this up for a specific job, but we do have this setup that works really well for us and it gives us a very clean blown out background from top to bottom. Now the key components to this setup include this approximately six foot octobox softbox lighting system. It's similar to a regular softbox except it has eight rods that go into the speed ring rather than just four so that it fills out and gives us that eight point shape. It also has removable baffles. It has the usual softbox materials that we can modify. Then we're going to need quite a bit of power pumping through that softbox. So we use a 4,000 watt second power pack. This power pack takes a special head that has two flash tubes in it. Because each flash tube can only handle 2,000 watt seconds at a time, and there you hear it draining off a little bit of power, we need to have a flash tube that has two heads in it, so it's called a bi-tube head. We use this framed aluminum reflector that can have different fabric materials on it. A big component to this setup is the background itself. The background itself is just vinyl flooring that we bought very inexpensively and we've reversed it. We're using the reverse side and it's painted a flat white. We just paint this background when we need to, when we need to clean it up and it gives a really beautiful clean surface. This has lasted us over a year and we just keep painting it. At some point it'll need replaced but it's certainly less expensive than a lot of other alternatives as far as purchase and maintenance. Now the last key component and the way that we get that perfectly white background is hidden behind this black baffle. The black baffle is there to shield the camera from lens flare, but if we look behind it, we see three strobe heads that are fed by a 2000 watt second pack that's hidden behind the wall and that's triggered by a slave unit. So we have quite a bit of power on this set. We have 6,000 watt seconds being fed through four strobe heads. We have one reflector and we have this vinyl flooring that gives us the nice clean white sweet background. And that's how we do the full-length portraits here at Daylight Photo.